not many Americans deserve the application of many superlatives. Paul Weyrich surely does. He is our most effective conservative. He has done more than anyone else in more ways to advance the cause of American conservatism. He's our most successful creator of new conservative organizations and over a wider range of types of organization. Paul sparked the awakening of theologically conservative Americans to participation in the public policy process. That fundamentally changed the balance of political power in our country. Paul was the central, unrivaled leader of the enormously complex project to identify, recruit, train, and place a new generation of conservative Republican leadership in the Congress, new leaders who wrested control of the Congress from leftist Democrats and content-free Republicans. Paul fearlessly became the principal enforcer of high standards in our movement. He is loved by many of us, but also justly feared because he delivers painful punishment to those who betray our principles in policy battles or through ethical lapses. Paul was the most effective American in the identification and political training of pro-freedom activists in the former Soviet Empire. Paul created the model of conservative coalitions, which today enables a wide variety of conservatives to work together to achieve unprecedented victories of many types. Paul, if there were a Mount Rushmore for conservative leaders, your face would have to be on it. For the last 40 years, I've been proud to call Paul Weyrich my friend and my collaborator. We were then both young Turks from the Midwest, Paul from Racine, Wisconsin, and me from Elmhurst, Illinois, and we were out to change the world. I well remember our early breakfast meetings in a cafeteria inside the U.S. Capitol, and there I learned my first lesson about Paul Weyrich, never, ever offer him coffee. But beyond that, we had big dreams, and those big dreams became big ideas, and the big ideas became big plans, and eventually the big plans became reality. And that reality was the Republican Study Committee in the House of Representatives, the Senate Steering Committee, ALEC, the Free Congress Foundation, Kingston, Six Pack, and of course, our Heritage Foundation. In fact, it's because of Paul's role in building the modern conservative movement that our board of trustees at the Heritage Foundation conferred our Claire Booth Luce Medal on Paul, the highest award we give to anybody, the same award we've given to Lady Thatcher, to Ed Meese, and to President Reagan, because of Paul's role in building that modern conservative movement. Paul, I'm honored to join your many friends from around the country and around the world in saluting you and in saying thank you for helping us build an America where freedom, opportunity, prosperity, and civil society will flourish. <laughs>